this last section of the class, I want to just take a brief few moments to talk to you about Drupal.org and all of the fantastic resources that are available there. Head over to Drupal.org and we'll take a look very quickly at what's here. There's a get started, community, documentation and support area, download and extend where you can get Drupal, Drupal job section, a marketplace, and of course about Drupal. The first thing you should do, honestly, go ahead and register and get a username and password at Drupal.org. This will allow you to sign up for things like security email updates and some other important information. You'll be part of the Drupal community. So I'm going to go ahead and log in and you're taken to your own profile page. Here's just a few things about me. We're a member of the Drupal Association. I've got a absolute beginner's guide to Drupal video. It's got about 260,000 views over at YouTube. When you log in, you'll have your own bio page that you can keep up to date. You'll also notice there's a message up here at the top about the Drupal Association. We'll take a quick look at that in the next video. But for now, go back to your Drupal homepage and let's see what's available. Here are the latest news, documentation updates, forum posts, and commits. A commit is any update to Drupal documentation or code across the entire spectrum of the Drupal community. You can see a section here on who uses Drupal. DrupalShowcase.com is a great site to get that, as well as some of the latest news and numbers for each of the areas in Drupal. If I want to click download and get started, of course, I'm taken to a page that can help me download Drupal, extend Drupal, read the documentation, and get help. Clicking on the community tab here at the top, we get a definition of what the community is all about. I can't share with you enough the importance of the Drupal community. As an open source project, the Drupal community is the one that runs the project and contributes to the project. You can get involved in the Drupal community in a number of ways. You can give user support, usability testing, help with documentation, translation, actually code if you have the skill set, some front end development, marketing, and a lot of other ways to get involved. You can even donate to the community to help pay for some of the functions that the Drupal Association runs. There's a chat feature here. If you're not familiar with IRC, it's not hard to do. It actually really feels like the early internet is basically a blank DOS-based chat area. The mailing list, however, this is important. You should subscribe to security announcements and get on the Drupal mailing list, as well as the Drupal forum is available to you to ask questions. Now, before you go crazy starting to ask questions, let me just suggest scan, search, look for the answers yourself first before you ask a question that's already been asked a few times. There's not a lot of tolerance for people who are just lazy in here. So let me encourage you, Google your questions first before you put a question here in the forum that might have been answered 10 or 15 times before. It'll save people a lot of time and you a lot of frustration, to be honest. Another great feature of Drupal.org is the download and extend area. This is where, again, you can download the latest version of Drupal. You can get distributions, which are prepackaged versions of Drupal with a bunch of modules already installed and turned on. And let me tell you, that's a great way to get started in Drupal as well. Commerce Kickstart, Atrium is a great way of getting involved with your fellow workers. Panoply is a way of easily laying out your Drupal content. Drupal Commons, Opigno, LMS, Zircon Profile, Open Church, Open Publish, Open Public. Again, I'll let you scan these for yourself, but the distribution area of Drupal is awesome. We've already looked at the modules section of Drupal and the theme section of Drupal. Just one last time, reminder, make sure you're looking for modules that work with your version of Drupal to take that 32,000 down. Right now is the time of recording of only 1,000. Believe me, that will grow very quickly in the coming weeks. Same thing with themes. You can search for these here. Everything at Drupal.org is free, and for your use, I encourage you, get a user account, 
sign up for some of those security update emails, and then have fun looking around one of the best resources for Drupal.